Mother Love's been around for six years and it was birthed out of a hobby for fermentation. So I've always loved fermenting beverages, fermented vegetables, all of those kind of things. And that just kind of evolved into a kombucha company. Well, everyone brews kombucha very differently, and so there's different durations, different temperatures, and then that will yield a very different flavor profile. So you'll notice that there is a wide range in the kombucha community. It's not too different to like different styles of beer, maybe. Um, and so some, some products are a little bit more acidic. We make ours less on the acidic side um, without making it too sweet, um, just so that you can drink a little bit more. It's uh, more of a lighter tasting kombucha without sacrificing any of the probiotics. We actually have a very high probiotic count um, without having that really, really acidic taste. Tell us a little bit about the tap room. Oh yeah, the tap room was kind of a natural evolution from the market. We used to do a lot of farmer's markets where we could meet customers, um, but it's a lot of work doing farmer's markets. You're taking all the product, it has to stay cold. Um, and we found that people were coming by the production facility to pick up kombucha. We weren't really set up for it and we thought it would be really fun to just have a place where community could come and gather, um, have some better for you beverage options, um, and just be introduced to something that's a little bit different. I know um, like if you walk into the store you don't always know if you want to commit to a whole bottle of kombucha, but if you can do a tasting or a flight and maybe learn something about the fermentation process, um, we wanted it to be kind of uh, a new experience.